Alright everyone, today we are going to be testing the range and accuracy of a snap bow from 100, 60, and 45 feet. Now this is just going to be kind of a relative because I'm not the best shot. Um, and uh, we're just going to see what I'm capable of and what the snap bow is capable of range wise. Now remember, all the way out there at that hill, pretty much at the base of it, it's about 100 feet. Now when you go up the hill a little bit, it gets a little bit more. When you hit it about half, you hit about 105. If you hit it up at the very top, you're getting about 110. Now I'm using a full draw snap bow that I just built and finished today. And it's got a 8 dart hopper on it with a 12 inch CPVC barrel. So we're going to go ahead and try the accuracy test. And the, I'm going to try to show you guys the range from 100 feet away. And my camera zoomed all the way in. I've got 8 shots loaded and I'm just going to count them on as I shoot them. Land at the base, that's number one. Way up there. Now the, all these shots are flat guys as I can get them, remember. Right at the middle of the hill, that's three. Right at the middle of the hill, that's four. I'm not really aiming particular, I'd rather not, so. That's kind of at the bottom there. That's five, I believe. Up there actually hit the fence, so that's like 130. I got one left. This is going to be number eight. Let's see if I can hit the target. Maybe, probably not. No. So, as you see, I'm not the most accurate at 100 feet, but they all do land in the same general area. So, that just shows you guys the range with a hopper clip. Usually doesn't drop below 105 for the most part. And all those shots were flat, as I said before, and now we're going to move up to 60 feet and do a test from there. Alright guys, this is going to be the accuracy test from 60 feet. I have my camera zoomed in on the target as far as I can. And I've got a hopper loaded up with 8 darts. Now I am not the most fluent in using a snap bow, so I will likely miss quite a bit, but this is just to demonstrate what a novice, well, I wouldn't say novice, but somebody who hasn't used one very much can uh, expect. I have a Number six slugs, the pink ones that I usually use, and I'm going to try to hit the target as much as I can from here. One. Two. Three. Four. Miss. Miss. Too high. That was a hit. So that's five out of eight in someone who doesn't use one very much. So now I'm going to move the test up another 15 feet and then we're going to try it from uh, 45. And I can probably nail it most every time, so I'm just going to move up one more time. Alright, guys, I have moved up 15 feet to the 45 foot mark. I have eight more darts loaded and I'm going to do my best to hit the target. So I guess we'll text, test and see how much of an accuracy improvement we have, even though this has no statistical kind of ratifications I just want to see what I can do right past it hit 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 curved up and over Hit. Curved around. If it hadn't, if that last one hadn't curved, that would have been a dead hit. So, accuracy with these is pretty crazy. I'm not going to move up anymore because then I would just nail it every time. As being only 30 feet away, that's the range of a stock Nerf Blaster. But we're at 45 and the last test was at 60. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And that's just a general overview of the range that snaps are capable of and the semi-accuracy from a moderate user can expect. Now that target is 18 by 18, so it's about the size of a normal human torso. So that's it guys. I hope you liked the video. If you, if you didn't, let me know down below and I'll talk to you guys later.